let's solve and get into the mathematics of friction. Consider a block kept on horizontal surface as shown in the figure. For the given values of f, find the acceleration of the block. I think this is very, very simple, basic level of question I've selected for you. And I've deliberately taken multiple cases to assert my point. Okay. You have been given mu s value as 0.5 and mu k value as 0.2. Clearly, mu s is more than mu k. Well, more than that, since they have given two mu's, I am okay with two different mu's. Okay. They are applying just one pushing force to it. Clearly, in the pushing force, how many force will act in the FBD? One will be Ng. One will be normal. And there will be friction behind. Why? Because you are pushing it to the right, so the friction will act to the left. What, I, what, is, what did I just do? I understood the physicality of the system. Physicality. And now, I will solve it for you. Are you ready? I will take case by case and go for it. I'll give you 30 seconds just to look at the question. I strongly suggest be with me when I solve all these questions. Let me solve this first one. As usual, I'll give you time to solve the next ones. Watch. Question clear? Free body diagram. The free body diagram is mg down normal up external right friction left. mg down normal up external right friction left. Sort it? Okay. What is mu s value? Mu s value is 0.5. Mu k value is 0.2. So for your reference, mu s value, mu s value is 0.5. And mu k value is 0.2. Are you ready? What is the first thing you should do? First thing. The first thing you should do is always, always find out what is the maximum value of friction. Always find out the maximum value of limit of static friction. In other words, what do you call it? Limiting friction. Do you agree that the formula is mu s n? Yes. Do you also agree that the normal reaction is equal to m g in this case? In fact, for vertical motion, there is no motion happening in a vertical direction for the, uh, for the block, whether it stays at rest or moves. The constraint it is moving only on, uh, along only horizontal. So, n is equal to m g. Or, Fs max is equal to mu s. Can you please tell me what is the value of mu s? 0.5 given to you. What is the value of n? Mg. What is m? Sir 4. What is the value of g? Sir 10. Do you agree that this is equal to 20 Newton? Take your time. Take your time. 20 Newton is Fs max. Okay. I will write the given values again for you. So basically what I have is mu s is equal to 0.5, agreed. Mu k is equal to 0.2, agreed. And fs max is equal to 20 Newton, agreed. And the calculation is right there for your perusal. 30 seconds, take your time. Right? Okay. Why did I find Fs max first? Because I know if a force is less than Fs max, I know if a force is less than Fs max, the particle or the block will not move. Question number one. When the external force is 10 Newton, is it less than Fs max? Yes, sir. That means the first thing. I know is that there will be no acceleration. First thing. Why is that? Because the particle will remain at rest. 
Second thing, I know, since there is no acceleration, no relative motion, what kind of friction is acting? Static friction is acting. Are you sure? Yes, sir, I am sure. And just because 20 Newton is available, that doesn't mean 20 will act. So how much do you need to counter the external 10 Newton? You need only 10 Newton. So since I am less than F external, there you go. What happens at 15 Newton? Is 15 still less than 20? Yes, sir. There is no movement. The friction is still static. And the value this time is going to be 15 Newton. Do you agree so far? Sure. I am now at 20. Guys, 20 is still less than equal to Fs max. You are still at the limiting friction. So I know slipping has just started, but it is still the boundary case. In fact, it is static, but you can call that this is the case of limiting friction, Fs max. And the acceleration for all practical purposes is still zero. And the value which the friction is enjoying is 20 Newton. But in the fourth part, your force is 24 Newton. Guys, in 24 Newton, the problem is that the friction is still 20. That means the motion will start. The first thing I know is that the nature of friction now is kinetic. So F becomes FK and there will be an acceleration. How do I find out that acceleration? Very, very simple. Free body diagram. What is the force acting to the right? It is 24. What is the weight acting down? Mg. If M is 4 and G is 10, can I say 40? Can I say normal reaction is acting up? And can I say that Fk, Fk is acting behind. Fk, mind you. Can I say Fk is also equal to mu kn? Have you understood the diagram I've drawn here? Is n equal to 40? So if n is equal to 40, guys, Fk is mu kn. And mu k, my lord, is 0.2. And 0.2 multiplied by what? 40, the normal reaction. 40 multiplied by 0.2 is 8 Newton. That means net force equal to mass times acceleration. This thing will accelerate towards right. And 24 minus Fk. And what is Fk equal to? 8. I repeat, net force equal to mass into acceleration. What is the right force? 24. What is the backward force? Fk. That will be equal to what? Mass into acceleration. What is Fk you just found out? 8. What is mass equal to, sir? 4. 4 times 8. What is 24 minus 8? 16. And what is 16 upon 4? So what is Fk acting first of all? Fk is acting as 8 Newton. And what is A? A is 4 meter per second square. 